Guys, watch this episode. Tyrone gets really mad that Trump called Haiti a shithole. I can't believe this here Trump calling the great country of Haiti a shithole. My great aunt Matilda came from Haiti. He's calling my aunt Matilda a shithole. The fact that she was a shithole has nothing to do with it. I can call her that. Trump, that racist son of a bitch, cannot call her that. Stay woke, people. Stay woke. Stay woke? When were you asleep? If by stay woke you mean to complain all day and protest about everything, you've been doing that the whole time. Mikey, you are a racist bastard too. Mikey, that's why you love Trump. Because you are fat and bloated like he is. If you had orange hair, you would be his twin. Yuck, I don't know who's uglier. You are that orange dirtball. Wait a minute. Mikey is not a dirtball. What's wrong with you? Uh, go ahead, you and Mikey. Mikey, I must say, it isn't very presidential for our commander-in-chief to call mm-hmm. other countries that horrible word. Julian, I thought you loved that word. Mikey, stop that. What, kitten? That's his favorite part of the male anatomy. My God, Mikey. I can't believe you sometimes. Look, all I'm saying is what's racist about the word shithole? Now, if Trump said Haiti was a horrible because there were black people there, I'd be on the hate Trump train myself. He's talking about the corruption and the living conditions, not the people. Well, it isn't nice, Mikey. No, I got you. It isn't the nicest thing in the world to say. But you can't solve any problem without admitting it's there first. I think he's just talking about the country, not the people, per se. Yeah, that's what I think. Mm. Well, you and Mikey and Trumpy are all racist. That's all. I ain't racist. No worries, balls. That's what you get called the minute you disagree with them. You either step in line or you are a racist. That is their weapon. I keep telling you everyone is racist in their own way. That's true. Any white man will become apprehensive if a group of young black men is walking behind them on a lonely street after dark. And even if they are cute. (laughs) That's not racist, that's just smart. Why you fat bastard? I hate your guts. Do you know what scares me? If a fat Italian bastard is hungry and I'm too close to him. That scares me to death, Mikey. I might get a whiplash from watching the pasta flying past my face while you are shoving it down your throat. Aw, that hurts my feelings, you little tramp. Would you two stop it? Mikey, you aren't racist. Why do you say it's smart to be afraid of young black men? That's terrible. Look at me, kitten. I grew up in a bad neighborhood. My mom was always scared because it was rough. That's not racist. That's just real. I remember when we would drive through a bad neighborhood, she would get like Jane Bond and whatnot. Grab the steering wheel real tight and step on the gas hard. Be like, Urgh. I was like, don't worry, mommy. I'll help you. I'd start pressing buttons on the dashboard like maybe this will slow them down. Press the button for fried chicken to pop out of the tailpipe. Or this button to fire the grape Kool-Aid cannon. You lasagna eating fool, you. See, that's racist. But I don't care. You guys all talk about what pasta I'm eating, how greasy I am. Who cares? I don't care what you say. Why? Because I have no political agenda, and I know no one is going to give me anything. Uh Uh-oh. Here come some brothers I don't know. Let's get moving along. Hey, it's Mikey here. You want to watch more? Subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share with your friends. Have a great day, dudes. See ya.